हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑन बायजूज एग्जाम प्रेप इंडिया मोस्ट कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ऑल द इंजीनियर्स फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू वन इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरियर अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ऑल द इंजीनियर्स इन बार्क भाबा एटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर इट इज कंडक्टेड अंडर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी एंड देर आर बेसिकली टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट यू मस्ट बी अवेयर विद दैट दैट you have to apply for the recruitment as scientific officers group a post of government of india through its academic program oces 2023 and dgfs 2023 so let us see what is the basic details if you see the training schemes and the employment description so you can see there is one year orientation course for engineering graduates and science post graduate for year 2023 and 2024 it is going to have a duration of 1 year it is going to be conducted at the bark training school and attached is a list of eligible discipline and table to list the eligible uh, disciplines and orientation of the training program for each of the training school now the second category is going to be the 2 year DAE graduate fellowship scheme for engineering graduates for the year 2023 and 2025 in short which is termed as DGFS 2023 under this scheme the engineering graduates who have excelled in the selection interviews for the bark training schools program and who have independently secured admission in the mtech in DGFS institutes and is specialized as listed in table 3 they will be paid stipend and tuition fee to pursue mtech while retaining their employment in dae it means in the second category you will be getting mtech degree also and job also whereas in the first category you have one year of training and then you have the employment opportunity but mtech degree is not included now if you see some more basic details what is going to be the grade and pay scale on appointment that is most important thing for all of you so appointment is going to be in all units as a scientific officer group a post of the government of india in level 10 which is going to have 56100 of the 7th cpc matrix the appointment will be the at the beginning of the pay scale with oces tsos getting two or three increments depending on their performance during the oces program and the dgfs fellows getting three or four increments depending on their performance in the mtech program so you will see it is going to be a good career opportunity apart from this there are some other allowance and perks which you will be getting apart from the monthly salary the selection process you can see the selection to oces and dgfs 2023 is a two step process the first step is the screening process in which the candidates will be shortlisted and it is followed by the selection interview for the shortlisted candidates if you see some more details about the oces 2023 and dgfs 2023 programs you can see that how the training is going to be conducted what are the centers at which training is going to be conducted and about dgfs program also two year dae graduate fellowship schemes for engineering graduates for joining mtech it is going to be starting in july 2023 so this complete detail is given here then if you see there are some more information regarding the eligibility criteria that is more important Uh, who are the candidates who are eligible to apply in this recruitment the qualifying degree and the other other academic requirements for oces and dgfs 2023 so for engineering discipline the code is from 21 to 29 for different disciplines the eligibility criteria is be btech bsc engineering or 5 year integrated mtech with a minimum of 60% aggregate marks in one of the engineering qualifying degree mentioned in table 1 table 1 is given in the annex similarly for other uh, branches which are eligible there are other eligibility criteria now i will show you the age criteria if you see 
Yes. The maximum age limit as on 1st of August 2023, for general category it is 26 years, for OBC non-creamy layer it is 29 years, for SCST 31 years and dependent of those who died in the riots of 1984, it is 31 years. Person who are domiciled in Kashmir division of Jammu and Kashmir state from 1st of January 1980 to 31st of December 1989, that is Dom Kashmir, it is 31 years. Now there are some other age relaxations also for physically challenged persons of all categories who are eligible for age relaxation up to of 10 years. There is a minimum age limit also that is 18 years as of 1st of August 2023. Now if there is any candidate who is already working in any of the central or the state government, now they require to produce a no objection certificate, it is mentioned here. If you talk about the application fee, there is a non-refundable application fee of 500 rupees from the male applicants belonging to general and OBC categories. It means the women and the SCST candidates or the dependents of defense personnel who are killed in action uh, and physically challenged candidates, they are exempted from any application fee. Now, how to apply? So only online applications are going to be accepted. The procedure is that you have to re, uh, visit the authentic website of bark ocesexam.in and there is a period specified from which the form will be available that you can note down and the exam is going to be conducted in March this year only. So it is very soon. Now there is uh, two ways of going through for this recruitment. The first one is that you can opt through the gate scorecard. The other one is that, that you can go for the written examination. There is a separate written examination that is going to be conducted in March. So you can see here that the candidates with qualifying degree in electrical, electronics and communication, electronics and control engineering and electronics and telecommunication engineering are also eligible to apply under electronics. I am just giving you one example of electronics. The code is 25. However, such candidates must qualify on the basis of a valid gate score or online test in the electronics. So there are two parallel paths, whichever suits you, you can choose it. If you have a better score in the gate exam, it means if you have less than 200 or maybe 250 uh, within this, if you have a rank, then you can depend on your gate score also. And if you do not have a good gate score, then it is better you go for written test because written test will give you one more opportunity to prove your metal and you can get a better career opportunity. So this is all about the BARC recruitment process. I will just uh, show you, uh, I was trying to show you some dates also. I think it is mentioned here. Just give me a moment. Okay, so no problem. In the comment section of this video, I will just drop down the important dates also. So I just missed it. So thank you so much and stay connected to Baiju's exam prep for all these important updates. Thank you so much. Best wishes. Thank you.